to the top 800. Keeping ourselves there. Uh, I'm just wondering how we did. 601, yeah, we've been pretty consistent the last week. I reckon we can do it today. I see no reason why not. Bloody. Hallelujah Mountains V2. Okay. Grass, some boosts, yeah. Sounds like fun so far. A 35 second lap, really. Ooh. Uh, stick Drift seems to be playing around today. Fantastic. It's going to make this so much harder. Ugh. Drift, if you could just play nice, that'd be really awesome. Okay. Uh, stick drift, fuck off. There's no need for this. Goddamn piece of shit. Is it gonna do it now? Oh, hold on, I'm just going to beat the shit out of the controller. Maybe that will hold it. No, I'm not sure about the line for that yet. Never mind. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just keep driving into walls. Obviously the best solution to my issue. There was a little boost there, I'm pretty sure. Fuck it, let's just try and get a lap in. I've not even seen the whole map yet. Fuck you. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it, bugger it like this. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it, bugger it like that. Bad angle on that wall ride, right, that's for sure, and at a worse angle there. I mean, let's just go. Mm. Of course, I fucking braked for a risky finish to the left, okay. <sighs> How the hell is that only 3,000th? It's full speed, but I know it is. At a better angle than that, though. <laughs> God, my driving is really lackluster at the moment. Fuck a doodle do. Really like lost stuff. Really disappointing, honestly. Okay. Quick release. Was that enough? No. Okay. Such shit lines, but let's uh, try not to worry about it just yet. Mm. 
A whopper. Of course. <laughs> of course. Just god awful, man. God awful. I've not had one good turn through there yet. Oops. Never mind. Still. <sighs> well, we're slowly pushing the uh, envelope towards where it needs to be. Don't ask me what's in the envelope, I'll never tell. Let's just try and get one clean. I know there's the boosters hidden here, there and everywhere. But you know what, I think that you might be able to skip through them vines where it looks like you can't skip through. Yeah, you can. Okay, so this is going to be the map of hidden cuts, basically. Okay, it doesn't appear to be great, honestly. Unless I'm doing it wrong, which is always a possibility. Hmm, not sure about that one. Yeah, not sure, not sure. Okay. No, why did I do that? Alright, well a slide there definitely helps, definitely helps. Too much apparently. No slide, not fast enough. Oi oi oi. Fucking had it. Shit slide though. You might be saying, oh, just check the GPS. No. no. GPS is non entity until at least got gold, and we're uh, 3.3 3. 3 seconds short. Fuck. Made that cleanly for once. Piss on you. Too low. There's the fucking right line for that. I honestly have no idea. Super wide. Fuck me. I'm seeing a few better lines coming up as a race, but I really still ain't uh, impressed with our performance as of yet. Oh dear. Normally by about 10 minutes in I've got an idea of how to do the map, but this one, not at all. Mm. 
At least that was clear. Yeah, that was alright. Not fantastic, but it will work. So will that. Not with that bump, it won't. Piss it. I've got to figure out the ending. Air time. Oh, God damn it, if you don't get that slide, you're absolutely dumb for. And you can't get the slide if you don't have the speed, and if you don't get the speed, you're fucking dead anyway. No slide, which means you're barely going to slide me there, which is not cool. Uh, okay, I'll take it. And it happened again. Well, still. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, where's the lines, man? Where's the lines? I don't know if the boost is the idea as well. I mean, generally speaking, you want to take a boost if you can get a boost, but. Trying to get the right line coming out of there, and we clipped. Must have done. Fit enough speed to slide in the corner before where we were even slower, but not enough speed to slide in the next corner. What the fuck? I swear to god, gaming today though is just riling me up, man. I was fucking losing my shit on CSGO earlier. Now I'm kind of losing my shit on this. Ah, piss it. What the fuck? They're almost held together. Uh, I don't know how to take that last grass bend either. No slide, okay. Some sort of weird fucking slide there. It's actually a pretty quick line out from there. Quite a quick line in and out here. As long as I somehow don't fuck up this final grass slide, which I did. I don't know. I just don't know that last slide. I try and hook it, and I go flying off to the right. I don't hook it, I go flying off to the left. No slide there. Okay, not really sure how I made that, but I'll take it. Nope. Oh, I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me around again to five. I am the worst fucking racer I know. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a racing man. Not bad in and out. That felt about as fast as I could make it. Right, so you got to hook it, but not the super hook it. Um. Hello? See it? Fucking track mania? What happened? 
It was on a good fucking lap. What the fuck? Black screened me. Trackmania.exe has stopped working for some unknown reason. That was quick. Or at least it's the quickest I've done it yet. We won't talk about it. It didn't happen. Not fast, but not slow. <laughs> okay. Do you know you could probably still do quite a quick lap if you if you could do that and do a 360 sort of flip. You could still probably do quite a quick lap with that, which would be a fun uh, ghost to leave people. Like, do I have any? No. Never mind. Never mind. quick or at least quick compared to previous ones even released and couldn't make that bend okay Recovery techniques are not my thing. Once I fuck up, that's it, I'm out. Too low, fuck. I need to get that line. Slow. That felt slow. Then I might still be half a second or so up. I'll make that point eight. Had to release so much that, and it still didn't save it. I still have no idea where that line is. Oh, piss. Piss. Point five, point seven, good enough. There, no, there, ish, good enough. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, now we have a time. Now we're beginning to get somewhere. Point eight seconds off all for Alright. I'm gonna have to give myself some sanity breaks every half an hour or so. 
during that time will probably waffle to you about something more interesting than just me bitching about this game. somewhere. We've still got a bit of a way to go for top 800 but we're now putting the fucking marks on the track. This feels like a bad line. Not that bad apparently but no slide. No slide but we should be pretty quick you know. Not that quick, apparently. Too wide. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if the GPS does go for that boost there, because that looks to be the only kind of really available boost. The other one looks way too off the line to uh, be worth doing. It's got to be quick. Yeah, fifth gear before the grass. I've not done that yet. Another point six up. What's that? Thirty-seven six. Getting close to all for time with that line then. Okay. That's got to be super fucking quick. If that makes it, that's incredibly quick. Thirty-seven. Wow, we're getting close to Alpha. Spent the first fifteen minutes absolutely sucking balls at this map. Then the next ten just fucking slapping. Mm. Oh, wait a time. Should have tried for the boost, but didn't because I'm a bit of a coward on that corner. A little bit of a coward. What the fuck did I do there? Oh god, this is awful. That was clipping. Anyway, you shaved it, that was clipping. Just keep that from certain defeat. Not that though. I might be undervaluing the grass slides here. That line seems trash. Seems like a trap. It's a trap. Okay, got airtime off something. Not really sure where. Feel like I should have still been connected to the grass by that point. I don't know. I don't know. That boost is possible. Is it worth it? I'm not sure, truly. <laughs> it 
is quick. Didn't slide. Again, 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 again. Punish me, punish me, punish me. Punish me, punish me, punish me, baby. Till I lose control. I actually don't think you need to break after that bit of grass there. I'm not here. And not this one. I think you have to break here one. Just a little. But here, I'm thinking you can get away without breaking. If you get a decent landing, which I did not get there. Too wide. <sighs> um, strange lag, but okay. Time. There's red lining as well, that shit. I thought that would have been okay. Come on. What? What? Was there something there? Did I really just space on an item? Must have done. Must have hit the flag. Tease me, tease me, tease me. Destroy me, destroy me. <laughs> Quotes that should be uh, taken completely out of context for the joy of everyone. I didn't need to do it then. I just did it out of habit. Went straight for the slide when we had plenty of room to maneuver around that bend. And again, didn't need to slide. Muscle memory, you've betrayed me once again. And once again, I'm asking you to fucking not. Clip, did I? Good of you to tell me, game. Instead of just suddenly dropping my speed. Well, I mean, that is telling me in a way, isn't it? That was awful. That weird chunking's back, though, the same as what I had on CSGO, where it runs fine, then it goes, eh. Then it run finds and it goes it. This should be quicker, no? No. <laughs> not when you're coming off the track, it's not. I do not recognise fourth and fifth position. Their names are foreign to me. Thinking number four is a Czech name. Either that or Polish. The new names are good. New names means fresh meat. Fresh meat means competition. Competition means win. That was almost quicker.
Oh, muscle memory tells me to slide. It's not a slide. I have to get that into my fucking head. Alright, anyway, it's a... Uh, uh, fucking break time. So what I've been learning about today is the size of the observable universe. All the things to learn about. So it turns out we can see like, what is it, 95 billion light years. Well, we can't actually see it, but that's the distance that the light has travelled to us. Which is really interesting, 93 billion light years. No way, is that right? No, no, that's completely wrong, right? So the observable universe, all that we will ever be able to see is about 93 billion years in diameter. Right, that's circle of from the earth um, that will be all we can ever see that will be all like all the light that will ever reach us from any other distant galaxies or whatever um, anything further than that will never reach us because of the universal expansion rate which is crazy to think of but super cool um, and within that sphere there are between 100 trillion to 200 trillion galaxies trillion galaxies to, to kind of elaborate on that right so sorry just answering something quickly Right, so 200, 100 trillion galaxies, right? There are roughly 100 billion stars just in the Milky Way. So you've got 100 billion multiplied by 200 trillion, that gives you the amount of stars. There are always more planets around a star than there are stars around in general. Right, so you can multiply that by another, let's just say four. So let's see if I can do some quick. Quick maths. So, uh, 100,000 billion. No. 100 billion multiplied by 100 trillion. So, you're talking 1 quadrillion, 10 quadrillion. Jesus Christ. 10 quadrillion plus the extras. So, quintillion. sextillion so there's around 10 sextillion stars in the observable universe which would make they have roughly 60 sextillion planets I like to try and put a sextillion in perspective a billion is a one followed by nine zeros a trillion is a one followed by 12 zeros a quadrillion is a one followed by 15 zeros uh, a quintillion is a one followed by 15 zeros. A sextillion is a one followed by 18 zeros. So there are roughly 10 followed by 18 zeros planets out there. The odds that we're the only one with life on are so fucking slim. So fucking slim. Anyway, that's what I was learning about today. Like... Jesus Christ, so 10, 10 septillion, I'm just going to have a quick look at it. Right, if you think about atoms in people, just just trying to think of things to compare it to. So there are roughly one octillion atoms per person. So if your if your body per atom represented the universe, there'd be roughly the same amount of planets as there are atoms in your body, which is fucking nuts. Yeah, see, no fucking slide.
no slide. Uh, not no slide, uh, no break on that corner. I managed to get the muscle memory not to do it that time. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. But yeah, imagine that, imagine all those planets. Damn, it's a bad line. Like, if you think about it per person, like, there are 7 billion people on Earth, that's a lot to think of. But each one of us could have, like, a couple of billion planets apiece. That's how many planets there are. That's just nuts. But that's only in what we will ever be able to observe. Anything further away than that, we will never observe. So... If there are 200 trillion galaxies in what we can observe, how much more is there? Imagine, ima like, we can't even tell how much more is outside that sphere. We can only work on what we can see, quote unquote see. Because observe doesn't mean what we can see with our eyeballs or with equipment, it's just the physical limitation of how far we will ever be able to see from Earth due to the speed of light. Um, and galactic expansion. Well, no, universal expansion. So you know, if if there's, if we if we are observing, say, even five percent of the universe, one percent of the universe, point one percent of the universe, the the possibility for life is a guarantee. It becomes a guarantee after a point. It's like once you once you start delving into large enough numbers. Uh, probability of almost anything becomes a certainty. So that's one of my favourite things to uh, ponder on is basically how large the universe is. Because depending on its size and depending on how large it is, it depends on what's possible. Like, it's like the word infinity, man. There's a lot that comes attached to the word infinity. You might just think it's something just endlessly large. No, 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 no. Infinity means madness. Infinity is, if the universe is infinite, everything that can exist will exist because it contains infinity. Infinity contains everything, every possibility. If the universe is infinite, there's a, another planet Earth out there where Hitler won. If the universe is infinite, there's another planet Earth out there where Great Britain took over the entire world and still controls it to this day. You know, there's a world where Babylonia didn't fucking crumble and, you know, they became a world power that still exists to this day. Uh, the Mayans never got wiped out. The uh, Aztecs still practice human sacrifice. There is, honestly, the word infinity comes with so many caveats, so many attachments that most people just don't consider. It's amazing. And I mean, to be fair, we have seen no reason as to say why the universe is not infinite. Classic, like, point in case is, what is it expanding into? Damn. Even though I'm doing that better, we're not coming out quicker. Which is nuts. Damn. The infinity of infinity. But like even with the numbers I've stated and the sizes I've stated. It's very difficult for people to imagine. Hello Apex Fever. Welcome to the struggle bus. But it's, it, it feels not like impossible just to just to imagine. The sheer size of it. The fact that there are things like galactic clusters is insane man. Whole whole entire chains of galaxies just grouping together. It's mad.
And like I said, you consider the Milky Way alone. Let's say the Milky Way is all we will ever explore as a species. We'll never get any further. There are a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way. A hundred billion. That's a large enough number to start doing some funky things with probability wise. Now depending on the star you have the habitable zone. You, the size of the star dictates how many objects will be. The larger the star the more objects. The further out the habitable zone. You know, the larger it is, the further the gravitational pull reaches, the further the gravitational pull reaches, the more objects that are likely to be in the habitable zone. It, it's, it's madness when you think about it. There's no way we as human beings are alone in a universe this big. No way. Which brings me on to another one of my favourite things to think about. Humans in space meeting aliens. Oh, baby, kept fifth the whole way. This is going to be a hell of a boost. Fuck that bend up, though, bugger. <laughs> well, now I've learnt with the extra time is it's in keeping fifth round that bend. Um, fuck that up. But yeah, humans are spacemen, because like, think of humans on the planet Earth, if, if you look at it from a completely objective perspective. Right. Everything else, like culture and that, ignore all of that. Just look at it from a very objective perspective. Alright. Coldest places in the world. We visited them on foot. We didn't send robots, we didn't... <laughs> we didn't wait to explore it till we had the equipment to do so. We just went. We just went. And it's not like, you know, we sent the first group of people, they died, and we went, let's give up on that until we got some better shit. We just kept going. Kept going at it. We live on islands that are literally volcanoes. We will live in areas where tornadoes are common, where floods are common, where fucking volcanic explosions are common. We build whole cities around it and then get shot when they get blown up. Like, we are a very strange species, objectively. Kept fifth. I'm a bit wide, that's okay. Shit, too low. It's quick though, another point three off. It's 37.4. To be fair, the carry speed on having fifth there would probably get us to offer. Anyway, back to humans. And we pack bond with animals, man. We pack bond. We will bring any animal into our family. From snakes to tigers to lions, we will bring any animal into our family. Bears. Like, we look at things that can kill us and go, ooh, that's cute. I want it. The only time other species pack bond or, you know, keep pets is when they're useful to them. We keep pets that are not useful to us, that are actually detrimental to us. We go against <laughs> evolution on a daily basis. Dogs are one thing, cats are one thing. Evolutionarily, they're useful. Snakes, not so much. Tigers, lions, no, not really. And that's only the surface, man. People have got pet sloths, pet monkeys. Like, I'm not, I'm not say how incredibly stupid it is to keep those wild animals as pets, um, and how detrimental it is, but we do. Now going back to the space bit, imagine humans in space. We come across a planet filled with sentient life and they got dangerous animals. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to fucking collect them. We're going to walk up to them and pet them. Oh, don't you look so cute. 
you realise that's the number one killer of people on this planet, or whatever they they call themselves. Gert Gorts, that do. They kill Gert Gorps with one touch and we'll be sat there petting them, stroking them, giving them a collar, giving them the name Fluffy. You know, people will do that shit. No worries. I clipped. That's just nuts to think of, man. And if we ever did something Star Trek style, man, like a federation or whatever. Like a group of planets supposedly working together for peace or whatever. You know human beings would be the basic fighters. And they would be kind of demanded by every culture. Because we're a warring people by nature. We love conflict. What people call drama is nothing but conflict. People love that shit. People live for that shit. Look at our TV shows, man. Drop the gear. Baby. We love that shit, man. Especially war tactics. We're, we're, because we are an experimental people, we are a people who go, we don't ask what will happen if I do X we do X see what will happen that's nuts <laughs> you give us technology to explore the stars and we'll try and improve it we'll pull it apart blow it up and see what happens when you have to have like Right, so warfare in space. Technically, all countries agree to no warfare in space. Right. We had to have that in writing before we even got to the moon. Oh, we had to have that in writing. It's fucking nuts, man. Human beings are just the craziest. We, we are the equivalent of space orcs. I truly believe human beings, given, given, given space travel was a possibility, I do, I do honestly believe human beings would honestly turn into pirates and shit. I, I just feel like we're the race to do that. That's quick. It was up until I became Tony Hawks anyway. <laughs> We'd become space pirates, space mercenaries. Fucking, we won't be able to agree on anything. I guarantee you, the moment we get space travel, slave people will reappear. I like. I wish we were past that point, but we're we're not not as a species anyway. Almost kept fifth. That was quick, but the line's bad. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, 
It's it's one of those things, man. Even if human beings have all the resources they need, we will strive to get more. It's it's evolution for you, right? It's it's the want to ensure we can propagate. We can't help it. Gonna take you a minute here because this map's doing me. Isn't it? But we are just so. See, it could be culturally, you know. Like maybe our culture will shift to the point where we're not so single-minded. But until then, actually, do you know what would probably help? Things like Neuralink, right? The base concept isn't what would help. Everyone sharing knowledge would help to a degree, but what would really help is sharing experiences. Because that's how human beings learn. That was a good PB. Well, we have to get all the time to meet our challenge anyway, so let's get going. But like, humanity is just such a oddball race. But think about it, right? The, the only reason we won the evolutionary arms race is simply because we got the most intelligent. Ah, oh, fuck it. And imagine, imagine that intelligence, instead of in monkeys, it ended up within ants. You, you Could you imagine the amount they could get done in the same time we could? Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe the human ability to create is not an intelligence linked thing. Maybe our ability to problem solve is what actually creates intelligence. That's a difficult question really. Right. Complexity can basically mimic intelligence, but it doesn't, it isn't actually intelligent. So like you could build a very complex computer that appears to be intelligent, that's pretty easy to do. You just keep adding layers of complexity and it will appear intelligent. That doesn't mean it thinks. Doesn't mean it can problem solve, doesn't mean it holds the keys to the kingdom like humanity does in the way of intelligence. But we do know intelligence is a learned thing. And that's an interesting point. Because you know humanity raised by wolves will act like a wolf. We've seen it in... Uh, what you'd call feral children in the past. Because there was a boy found living outside of Paris that had been raised by wolves. He couldn't speak, never learned to speak. It actually appears that language has an age cap. If you don't learn a language by a certain age, you're unlikely to ever learn language. Which is interesting. Again, intelligence is so varied as well, and it's something we like most people assume is innately human, and not any other animal has intelligence. But so many animals have an intelligence that is so different to ours, it's hard for us to comprehend. It didn't make it. Like, um, if you ever want to look up animal intelligence, there's a uh, Alex the grey parrot whose final words to his master were, "You be good." There was Coco the Gorilla, Michael the Gorilla, who both learned sign language and were able to communicate using it. You can teach dogs to understand commands and then they can repeat those commands if you give them a suitable way of doing so back to you to show what they want.
Ah, uh, still not enough. Intelligence is a an incredible world, and it, it always boils back down to like people people say they're not intelligent. You don't understand what intelligence is if you don't think you're intelligent. I'm not saying you're the next Stephen Hawking, but intelligence is so many little things all added up. Like bless my mum's soul, right? Sometimes she says to me, you're not, "She's not intelligent," and I tell her off for it because she is. She has intelligence that I do not possess. She raised four children. There is a lot of intelligence in raising children, whether you think of it or not. Changing nappies is a skill. Telling children off properly is a skill. Praising children is a skill. Damn it. Raising children full stop is a skill. It really is. And people say, I don't have intelligence. There's just so many different types. So many different types. I do not know how to build a house. I understand the basic process, but I do not have the skills to do so. And if you wish to tell me that's not intelligent, that, that is really intelligent. Building a home is something. I could build you a home out of logs. <laughs> that's about as far as it could go, though. I kind of know how to make some makeshift insulation. I know how to do some basic things like that. But I couldn't build you a house with bricks and electricity. I mean, I could, given enough uh, obstruction, but doing it out of my knowledge is impossible. And you might say, yeah, it's not one person that builds a house anymore. Which is true. But look back in time, man. Humanity were building houses long before we had any of this shit. Stone houses, cottages, thatch houses, Tudor houses, maybe bloody timber beams. There's an intelligence all to that of its own. Like, there are Tudor houses that still stand in the UK. That still stand in 700 years later. Not 700, 650. But you get the idea. That amount of time later. It's still standing. And there's an intelligence in that that we will never know. Because yeah, we can reverse engineer how they did it, but that doesn't that doesn't show how a man, woman, child, dog, cat, whatever <laughs> figured out how to do that on their own. Damn it. I'm starting to think you don't need to break there neither. Too wide. Yeah. The endless levels of intelligence of humanity. I was actually saying the other day on one of these about artificial intelligence and how to define it. And my definition was the ability to dream. Because if it can dream the world other than it is, that's kind of it. That's intelligence. Well, that's a type of intelligence. The next type of intelligence is problem solving. How to make the world you dream of a reality. I actually had a lovely conversation with uh, Black Tomcat not long ago about uh, polymaths, which are people who are highly skilled in multiple fields. Right? The first uh, recorded polymath was Ramsey II, who wrote books on mathematics, science, biology, healthcare, you know. He was the boom, of time. That was the, uh, he was the first recorded polymath. Leonardo da Vinci and other like these skills and the ability to be a polymath gets more difficult the more humanity specializes for example um, you can use Michael Jackson as an example it's his whole life revolved around music intelligence in music 
Yes, intelligence in anything else. Well, I do believe he wasn't uh, very highly educated. I doubt his uh, mathematics skills were that good. I doubt anything else was that good. But his musical talent, his musical skill, beyond compare. And that's that's a side product of society and the ability to specialise so heavily. Stephen Hawking, a well-renowned physicist, was able to special specialise because the rest of society has their own specialisations, meaning he didn't need to do the other things that people could do. I.e., you don't need to be a great cook if you've got a chef that feeds your village or whatever you know. What I mean, and it's the same. It's, it's the same evolutionary tactic we've used time and time again. You think of ancient hunter-gatherer, the reason why they were separated into two groups was because they were two different jobs. Let alone you would, ha you would have had someone in your village that specialised in making, I don't know, furniture, you'd have someone else that specialised in making food, you know. Specialization as society grows, society becomes more specialized. That's why there are jobs you can't even imagine out there. It's like it's Lego, right? So again, here's a job you wouldn't have aware of. You say scientist, you just think of a guy in a lab coat. You don't think of the very specialised roles every scientist ends up building for themselves to prove or disprove their hypothesis, etc., etc. So LIGO is a fantastic experiment that's ongoing to detect gravitational waves. Now you might say, what's a gravitational wave? It's literally a ripple in the fabric of space-time caused by supermassive objects, and when I say supermassive, I don't simply mean in size, I mean in density, in supermassive objects colliding, i.e. black holes, neutron stars, things like that. Because as they collide, they literally cause a ripple in the fabric of space-time. Now, LIGO, the experiment, the only way to detect these ripples in space-time, because you've got, you got to imagine, you're measuring infinitesimal gravitational waves at distances you cannot begin to comprehend. So the way to do it is you take a laser beam, you split the beam in half so it has two waves, right? Both waves are going to match up because they're traveling at the same speed and they were released at the same time, right? Concentrate a little bit. But you basically put, I'm saying basically because it's super over oversimplified, you stick a mirror that splits the beam into two and you measure the time it takes each beam to return back to its starting location from the splitter, basically. Now, if the beam's waves match up, they arrived and left at the same time, down to an infinitesimal measurement. Because you've got to think a, a, a wave in a light is the smallest measurement of time you can have. I can't even get the start anymore because I'm talking about this, but never mind. Um, and, like, when it first launched, I think it was 2016, they detected two of these events. Last year, they detected 36. 36 mergers. And they could even tell what merged. Right, the majority were black holes, some were neutron star collisions. It's incredible. And we're measuring these at distances that are really hard to comprehend. The smallest wave, gravitational waves in the universe. Like, okay, so we're not fully there yet with this as a technology. We can't tell where these waves came from. But we can tell they're occurring. We can tell that roughly what the objects are and that's amazing
fucking stop completely. Imagine those gravitational waves. To actually shape the fabric of reality, that's insane. That's so cool though. So cool. And as we improve our technology, the more we improve it, the more we can improve other technologies. The more we can improve other technologies, the more technology gets better. Damn it. I'm really beginning to think that isn't a slide. I know I said that earlier, but I keep sliding out of habit. It's the biggest combat in this game, is muscle memory. Oh, clipped. And the worst thing for me is we do all these incredible scientific things and we still war each other over oil. No, I've got a slide, I've got a slide. Without a slide, it doesn't make it. Humanity is baffling as it is incredible. Not enough. And then, like, it really, really gets me sometimes, right? Because if you, if you, if you're interested in these things and you look at the universe as it is and the whole of it and the entirety of what can be. And you watch people argue over fucking seating on a bus. <laughs> you watch people argue over whether, you know, we should have stricter immigration laws. And all you can do is kind of laugh. Because if you didn't laugh, you'd cry. Like, what, what do you mean your argument against having people come here to live, work, raise children is that just it'll improve their lives but it'll worse than yours excuse me <laughs> what do you mean you're telling me you wouldn't give up a little bit of your life to improve someone else's and I don't mean like literally a year of your life I mean like I don't know five pence a year to improve someone else's life to help pay for schools in the most impoverished areas in the world. You wouldn't do that? Just why not? Why wouldn't you help your fellow man? Too tight. <coughs> Maybe that's the issue there. Maybe it is because I'm going way too tight. Like, I can tell you, the internet is one of the most fantastic inventions humanity has ever made. Simply for the fact that it allows knowledge to get around the world. People like to talk about, like, disinformation and shit, but... If you're getting your news off of Facebook, you're already in trouble. If you're... If you're reading facts from a random website and not checking them out on at least Wikipedia, you're in trouble. Not enough. And it's not like Wikipedia is some unknown underground website. It's one of the most well-known factual information websites on the planet. Shouldn't have turned so hard. It just, it just blows my mind. And like... So like, I disagree with a lot of things in life, and one of them is any separation between us and them. If you're telling me there's a difference between me and you, you have an ulterior motive. 
You wish to keep me separated from my fellow man for a reason. If you're not doing it for fun, you're doing it for a reason. Why do you want me to keep me separated from my fellow man? It's certainly not for my safety. Because I tell you, immigrants tend to be more uh, <laughs> mindful of the law than nominal immigrants. You know? You might sit there and go, no, that's not true. Trust me, it is. Look up crime statistics in your country, man. I guarantee you immigrants commit less crimes than uh, the nationals. And countries and stuff, man, it's a joke. It's, it's a system built by people to keep you in that system. Now, I'm not saying governments are all bad, because right? some of them do try, and they do well. But look at why borders were established, and understand the truth of it. Countries were made to separate you and me, to separate a kingdom from another kingdom, so people could own an area. So all it's for, ownership. And then you buy into the ownership. You buy into the fact that I'm English, therefore I deserve to be here. No. You deserve nothing, just like every other human being on the planet. The world does not owe you. Just because your mother's vagina happened to pop you out in X country does not mean you're owed anything by anyone and it does not mean you're better than anyone all that happened was genetically you rolled the dice and you either got lucky or unlucky where you were born fuck I can't get this corner off right I'm really thinking it is a full speed and I'm just fucking it up every time I do it. Like, I think even this start could be a full speed. Not like that though, obviously. I got buggered by the clip. So the internet is changing the world even, even now. people in Islamic countries get the internet they see the world is better over the other side of the fence and Islamic countries are changing the modern times it's a slow process man but it always has been cultures do not change overnight it doesn't mean you should give up trying damn it Western cultures have it wrong in some places, man. In, in the route to be so called tolerant, they become intolerant. It's, it's the cultural swing. You push one way, people push back. Too much. I'm still not sure how to do it. It's a bit like how uh, 
so people think the 60s were the first time it was like free love and all that shit it wasn't it was 1920s Germany was free love it's 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 a cycle man it happens all the time there you go left 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 then we go right 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 and then we go left 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 and then we go right 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 it's just a repeating pattern but the internet is one of the things that can allow the pattern to be broken we can improve and keep it it's what slows human progress in terms of technology and stuff as well and boosts it in the opposite way because yeah you can talk about warfare and technological advancement and it helps it really does improve the rate of technological advancement nah, not sure I know how to make the line happen but I want it to happen in 5th gear But to be fair, if you look at history as a whole, we are in the most peaceful period of humanity ever. Doesn't seem like it with the way the news plays it out, but this is the most peaceful humanity has ever been. And it will continue to get so. The more we realise those people over there are just like the people we got here, the less we will fight ourselves for no reason. You might claim a terrorist attack is a good reason to attack an entire country. It's really not. You wish to punish an entire country for the acts of a few. That's not good. It's called the Geneva Convention, baby. Look it up. And a uh, top tip for any kids who ever hear this, or I say kids, teenagers and stuff in classrooms. Collective punishment is outlawed by the Geneva Convention. A group of people cannot be punished by the acts of one. I want to say 1922, the Geneva Convention was right. Could be way wrong with that. That's just a memory that's buried in there. Could even be 42, but I feel like it's 22. But yeah, I feel like it was after World War One to do with uh, the use of uh, mustard gas and stuff like that. Damn it. I always steer too early there. See, I'm better off when I'm talking about shit rather than trying to concentrate on the driving. Piss on it. I'd already messed up the slide there, but I thought, you know, might be able to recover. I will never financially recover from this. I still don't know about that boost, and I don't know whether I want to watch a. Uh, a record time. Yeah, fuck it, we will in a minute. No. I have to commit to that slide and just hope for people guess.
No, no, it's still not it. Still not it. The problems with criminals these days, they know their rights better than they know their wrongs. Fuck. That line's a rough one as well. Because it's literally on the edge of failure, you have to be to get that one right. Nope. I don't know. don't know about that line. I slide out of habit, but should I be sliding? <sighs> dreams, 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 dreams. And I love the way Americans view the. Uh, so I, w uh, I was reading, as I do, about uh, self defence laws in the UK, right? And you, you can basically defend yourself until you feel you're safe. Um, that's basically the way it works. If someone's threatening you or attempting to harm you, you defend yourself until you feel you're no longer in danger. And, um, I was just thinking how interesting it is that Americans believe that to keep themselves out of danger they must have guns. Like... Why? It doesn't level the playing field. Unless you all have muskets from like the 1600s or something, then the playing field's pretty level. But like... One pistol to another is not evil. It isn't the same thing. A Glock isn't the same as a 45 caliber fucking machine gun. A Glock isn't the same thing as a Desert Eagle, you know? Like, you're not even. You're not even. Let alone different types of bullets. You're really not even with that shit. And like you think police need guns, we have police with guns in the UK. They're few and far between. And they're only ever used when necessary. And like it doesn't mean there isn't crime. Like guns still get into the hands of criminals. The international arms trade still exists. And the argument that you have to have guns because criminal have guns is a joke. If criminal has a gun and it's pointed at you, either they intend to kill you or they don't. There is no argument, there is no, you know, hang on a minute, let me just pull out my handgun and point that at you. Because in the time it takes you to pull out your own gun, you've likely been shot. <laughs> It's such a such a messed up kind of fucking viewpoint to me. Still, oh no, that wasn't too wide. I thought it was. Damn it! And you say like it's too hard to remove all the guns. It's not that. If they did it in Australia, they can do it in the states. Almost kept fifth. But almost isn't keeping it, is it? It's a good lap, but not enough.
got another 34 minutes to do a two hour session. I've already made the challenge complete today. Top 800. Smashed it. Oh, I didn't smash it, but 740 ain't bad. Because two out of three ain't bad. Actually, do you know what? We'll check the, uh, the records in a second. Now. Because I'll take a little break and do this. See how it goes. See what I'm really missing out on. He just releases for a split second. Okay. And you didn't even break there, holy sugar. That's incredible. <laughs> Let it roll around one more time. I need to see that beginning actually, I didn't pay attention to the uh, the drift where I keep I'm in an R and whether it's full speed or not. No, he just quickly released, didn't he? That was the trick. Show me again. It just seems like a quick release. Alright. Get amongst it. Okay, not like that. Very much not like that. Too wide. I really do reckon I can PB this. Probably by about point three, I would have thought. Damn it. Fuck! I had the speed, just not the line. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't know what I did there. <laughs> it's close, close, but no cigar. No slide. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. My driving is not, but let's not dwell on it. Yeesh. Too wide. Good time though. Good time. Okay. So 
a wee bit wide, but ended up too wide again. It's a bit wide. It's okay though. Too tight. Oh yeah, yeah. That never happened. Getting close every time, though. Wish I would have got those runs earlier where I kept fifth round there because now I can't get it at all. <sighs> Fuck me. Make it around a single bend, will we? I also have a going looking into. I've been looking at the man in the mirror. Nah. No interest in that shit. Take me as I am or watch me as I go. Good start, too wide though. One way, one another, I'm gonna find you. Airtime. As I like to say, airtime is dead time. Lost the gear. Didn't even check out how that corner's done, to be fair. That's way too wide, isn't it? Yeah. Let's keep going, keep sweating. Keep sweating. Whoa, sweaty betty, bam a lamb. Whoa, sweaty betty, bam a lamb. I've got you a can, bam a lamb. Dio's bam a lamb. Well, I'm glad to know the boost isn't the key because I gave up trying that so long ago. And that, that little cut there isn't actually useful. It's very good to know. On that bend, I instantly hammer the turn because if I try and delay it, I always fucking miss. I did a mixture of break and release there, but actually just a release would have done it. Yeah, no, not like that. Doodle do man. I'm hoping it's a lot of regression for a bit of progression. This is a shit start. Right. Very shit.
too tight. Ah. I don't appreciate those rocks. <laughs> what a piece of shit. I get this today. I thought the same on CSGO today though. I'm just not on the money at all. <sighs> hey, some days you just aren't on the money now. Some days you are just worse than others. It's a bit like that message on the uh, bottom of the screen on CSGO. Hey, sometimes your opponent is just having a really, really good day. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> You're all dogs. I'm obviously the best in the world, don't you forget it. Oh, did I just keep fifth? I fucking did. Had to release, but we got it. No. <laughs> it's point two. I can do a point two, but I was right. So a thirty-seven flat or a thirty-six nine. No. Even with the extra release to try and get that back. It's just a big noob. Too much angle. Not enough dangle. Doodle do, come on. Give me the fifth gear out again. I mean, it doesn't bode well that I think I've had it three times and nearly an hour, well, over an hour and a half. But, uh, you know, never surrender until we hit the two hour mark anyway. So far behind. I was trying to just gain speed anywhere I could then, and I thought maybe on the grass was a big no. Damn it, dropped back to fourth, but we are quick. Not enough. Damn. So it's a decent overtime, to be fair. A very decent overtime. It. Piss it all away and burn the fucking thing down. Let's try that again. Was a bloody good line. 
No. Mmm. Mmm. In Harambe's name, I fucking hate you. It's a shame we were catching until I got a really shit line out. Oh well. We shall never surrender. We will fight the Bonavages. Now, any time I do Winston Churchill voice, it turns into my future Armour Nixon voice. Aru! Richard Nixon's back! Or he doesn't say that, he goes, Nixon's back, baby! Aru! Too wide. <laughs> Too wide. Mm. Ah, come on. How oh, whoops. Don't ask me what I did there, I double slid. I generally just fucked up the whole thing. It happens. See, I either overestimate the fact that we're sliding or underestimate the fact we've got grip. Niente nada, piss on it. Sunny Jim. And that's it, I've got no more topics for today. Haven't read enough apparently. That was another underestimation of grip. And again, underestimation of grip. Baby, baby, oh, baby, baby, do 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 on it because that was going to be my uh, what I read as a bloody video what I read as a video you know what I mean 
going to read it, going to do the voices because it's in the public domain and it's something good for Christmas, I guess. That I'm supposed to do jingle bells or some shit. to release to make it thing is I didn't fucking make it oh, I lost a lot of speed on that little slide the tingle scar ding ding <gasps> Did it again. Yeah, he's gonna catch because we went super bad there. Fuck. Fair. I suppose the way to look at it right is the more that I fail it, the more likely it is the next one's going to make it. Just as a uh, general rule of large numbers. The more the attempts, the more likelihood of PB increases. Oh, I thought we kept fifth then. We did not. Alas. Oh, we're faster though. Too low though, damn it. Too wide, because I let it go. Let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and snow I am one with my inner soul Be a dick, be a dick The perfect time is now Here I am Fucking missed it had the upper hand in speed and everything, but I fucking missed. We kept it. Bad line though. Ay 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 oh, I didn't quite keep it. We're still ahead though. To release for a split second, but fucked it. Didn't have the right line. To be fair, if it was a PB, it was only a very small one, so I don't mind too much. I mean, obviously, I'd rather have it, but what can you do? What can you do? Why you want blind there? I 
I can do better, I know I can, but I'm just not getting it. And we're running into our last eight minutes, so odds are we ain't gonna get it airtime. But still, we did challenge top 800 complete. Tick, tick, tick the box. Stretch clipped. It's a bad line anyway, but I thought I'd try. Gotta try some, gotta try. I'm still annoyed that a college try is not what I thought it was. A fucking bare minimum effort. I thought he was giving it a good fucking crack. Like, why the fuck are you in college if you ain't gonna give it a good crack, you know? I think it'd be fun, right, if it's. You could have more realistic um, crashes. I think that'd be fun. Although it'd only be something you wanna you wanna kind of turn on and off. You know, you don't want it on permanently. Is that enough? It is. Bad line out though. God damn. Oh yeah. Worst bit is I know where it's letting me down, I know where I could improve, but I'm just not getting it. Just not getting it. even with a release. If that would have made it through we would have been gold. We would have been golden mate. Back and golden. Okay, made that. We still have a chance. No, we don't. No, we do not. Oh dear, final five. And we've had some good runs. We just haven't been able to get this off today. It happens, it happens. Oh, no, nah. no, nah, no, nah, that's not me. Hey, like a waste man, it's not me. Lips any girl, no, nah, that's not me. Come on now. No, why did I let go of the turn? Oh. Rage. Killing in the name of...
I mean, it's a nice short map. I've got a lot of attempts in fucking hell. Just kind of feels way worse when you know what the trick is, but you just can't fucking get it. Do I have the speed? No, I have a shit line. That's what I have. Bugger. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it, bugger it like this. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it, bugger it like that. Oh, wow, I'm amazed we made that one. And that, to be fair. Let's fucking try though. I only have to get this line better, which I did not. Sad, sad, sad. Not enough. Eat. And a quick eating. Eaticus. Minimus and Maximus and Decimus and Secundus and Tertius and Octavius. Oh, fuck me in the eye hole. What do you mean? Just let me have it. Drop the gear, but we're in the lead. I've got that line, but I'm too high. God damn. Holy bananas and cheese. Actually, bananas with cheese is actually a uh, meal in Brazil. It's quite nice. I say a meal, it's, a, it's a food. Fried bananas with cheese, yeah. Yeah, we're chasing now. We chase, we shall. Don't have the speed nor the line, do I? No. Although, I caught up by a fair chunk there. Not enough, though. Alright.